Malika Costa was driving on West Street heading towards Water Lane in a Ford Explorer SUV when a gunman took aim at him. He was hit but continued driving and in the process knocked down firefighter George Lewis on Water Lane before crashing into a parked Mazda Tribute in front of a Chinese restaurant on Vernon Street. Even then, he made it to Youth for the Future Drive over Bell China Bridge and on to Douglas Jones Street, where Acosta lost consciousness and crashed into a fence. Police later arrived on the scene to find him dead inside the vehicle. When approaching almost at a junction with Water Lane, a male person who was on the street side fired several shots at his direction, injuring him. He managed to drive, but while it's trying to avoid being fired, he knocked down a male person who was walking on the street. And then after he drove onto Vernon Street, where he collided into a vehicle that was parked in front of New Asia Restaurant, he continued driving then into Youth of the Future Drive. Over the bridge and on Douglas Jones, he collided on LNF Chinese fast food. And that was where the vehicle came to a stop. Upon inspection of the vehicle, they saw that he was not moving. The scene was processed and thereafter his body was taken to the hostel where he was pronounced dead on arrival. It is believed that Acosta, a resident of Tiger Street on Southside Belize City, was trying to make his way to the KHMH but perished en route. That is what we have received information and hence the reason he was, he had knocked down uh, the name of the person is Mr. Evan Lewis I believe, who sustained a broken leg and he is in a stable condition. Acosta is being identified as a car dealer, but he also once worked with one of the local airline companies. A friend of his spoke of his character. I was very surprised at what happened to Mr. Acosta. I didn't know him as a, to be end up in that situation, to be gone down, but he was very cool, calm, and a hardworking person. So what motivated the attack on Acosta? Police believe that his killing may have been gang-related. Commanding officer for the Crimes Investigation Branch in the city, Superintendent Alejandro Cawas says that Acosta was traversing rival gang territory. We know that he has an association with one of the gangs within that area. And where he was driving is a different affiliation. So I believe that, again, those persons that were there saw the opportunity and they carried out the hit. Did you believe that he was being followed? No, no. I believe that they had saw when he was driving on, on West Street and they waited for him when, when he reached at the junction with Water Lane. Police say there are two suspects that they are looking for at this moment. Dwayne Moody for News 5.